we had the all three elite series here in Nashville, Tennessee this past week. It was phenomenal, man. It was awesome. I mean, 45 of the best high school football players in all of America. We had some of the top quarterbacks in all of America. We had the top quarterback in America, the top player in America, and Bryce Underwood. And we got a chance to sit down with a lot of these guys, man. Got the chance to do one-on-one -on -one interviews with um, multiple players uh, from different parts of the country, committed to different schools. And we had a opportunity now to get some of these guys in studio here in Nashville. The first day was at the W Hotel downtown at the end of the event. They came here, and we sat down actually with both Bryce Underwood and Harlem Berry. Harlem Berry is the number one running back in the class of 2025. Bryce Underwood, as I already mentioned, number one player and quarterback in the class of 2025. Both now are committed to LSU, a part of that number two class they currently have in the on three industry team rankings. So I talked to both of them separately, had a Phenomenal uh, conversation with both. A great chance to chop it up and talk about why LSU and their future in the college football world. And then uh, Bryce Underwood flipped the script on me. He said, hey, we, we want to interview you. We want to interview you. And I was like, that sounds fun. Like, let's do it. Let's roll with it. We'll keep the cameras rolling and we'll chop it up a little bit. Uh, and then this happened. Take a look. I went and played ball at Cornell. Okay. I was yeah. a running back. They text me to this day. I don't Stop. know. Stop. Cornell does. Cornell University. Who's I the, make this uh, up. what coach? I don't know. Okay, so here. I can't, I literally cannot make this up. Bryce. Just, the hell right here. I cannot make this Let's up. make this happen, bro. Can we get you? might want to put that back over can there. Can we get you to Ithaca, New York, brother? Like, listen, I cannot I mean, make this Harlem, up. you can come too, bro. We'll I do a package deal. Up. Look at this. I'll talk to the booth. Yeah, let's go. Let's get you hey, there. Coach Hayes, hold on. Wait. Let's make That's it happen, bro. Let's make Cornell, it happen. They send me their camp dates. That makes me happy. I might have to do their camp. Yeah. You, know? you got to come. Why hey, not? Just for you. Both just, of y'all, man. Hey, don't knock it till you try it. Get out to the number one college town in America. We'll see. I mean, Red would look good on y'all. I'm just saying. Hey, Red would I mean, look good on you know, y'all. Um, nah. Okay, so obviously... Cornell is shooting our shot here with the number one player in America. So my, my gears get turned a little bit, right? Like it, ABC always be crooting. That's what I went into. And some folks are going to yell and say, tampering. Y'all, we got, we got schools directly paying kids now with revenue sharing. Talk to me about tampering. Like, like Penn hasn't met paper yet. They, we, he's telling me about how Cornell is inviting him to, his, to, to, to the camps. And I got Harlan Berry standing right next to me, and it dawned on me. Package deal. Number one quarterback, number one running back in America. Let's get him to Cornell and let's change the entire conference forever. They would, I mean, they would, they would break records out there in Ithaca, New York. And I had LSU fans in my mentions responding to this video and saying, JD, we need those guys. We need those guys. You need those guys? You got the number two class in America. You'll be okay. Y'all, we haven't been over 500 since 2005. Since 2005, we haven't won a conference title since 1990. Give me this. Let me have Bryce Underwood. Let me have Harlem Berry. We need him out there in Ithaca, New York, baby. We need him. We got a quarterback about to graduate. Bryce Underwood, four years. Here's the keys. Go crazy. Boosters, if you're a Cornell booster, you're watching this right now. Listen, I've, I've seen the endowment numbers. I have. I've seen them. Last one I saw, according to the school newspaper, was like $386 million last year alone. Split that in half. The science wing will be okay. The hotel school will be okay. Give it to Harlem Berry. Give it to Bryce Underwood. Can we get that done? Can we get that done? All right? We say we want to be good in sports. We want to be good in football. Put your money where your mouth is. Put your money where your mouth is. Go get the number one player in America. Get the top running back in America. And bring him to Ithaca, New York. And, I mean, I, I went right into recruiting mode. I said number one college town in America. If they want to do hotel administration, number one hotel program in the world. Great engineering operation out there. Number one, I think it's the number one agriculture school in the world. Or we're out there somewhere. I'm just saying, let's make something happen here. I will roll through broken glass from Nashville, Tennessee, all the way to Ithaca, New York, if we can get the deal done. So I'm just saying, I think they're both probably pretty locked in to LSU. Neither of them seemed interested in the slightest. They're both definitely uh, LSU commits. And uh, going to stay that way, it looks to me. But can't blame us for trying. Can't blame us for shooting our shot. You know what I'm saying? Got to do what we got to do. Got to do what you got to do. Always be crude. And shout out to Cornell again for trying to get my man Bryce Underwood to come to camp.
Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.